Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how we connect a Siemens PLC to Kepware OPC UA server. First we add a PLC to the project. I use a Siemens S7200 series PLC. We simply choose the correct PLC and click OK. If we want to we can add some security settings. Now that we got our PLC added to the project we can click on it to open up the system settings tab. We then need to click on protection and security tab. If we then scroll down to the column where it says connection mechanism, we will see a box to check which says permit access with put get communication from remote partner. We need to check this box to let the PLC communicate with the OPC UA server. To connect to the OPC server we need to know which IP address is set to the PLC. To change our IP address we click on the PLC's Profinet port. Under the IPv4 column we can choose an IP address to our PLC. To make the communication more easy and clear I will add a new global data block to the project. To do so we click on a new block and choose a data block. Make sure the type is global db. Then we can give it any name we like. Inside the data block I will add two boolean tags and one integer tag that I will use for demonstration. To use our tags inside an OPC UA server we will need to address our tags. To address tags inside a data block we have to right click on our data block and then click on properties. Here we will find a checked box where it says optimize block access. This box need to be unchecked and then we click on OK. Now we will get a new column that is named Offset. If we now compile our program we can see that all our tags automatically gets addressed in this column. I will now open up our main block and do some simple programming. To add our data block tag to an input, we need to click on the question marks above. Then we open up the list and click on our data block. Then we click on which tag we want to add. As you can see now all our tags have an address. For example our first tag have been given the address db1.dbx0.0. I will just keep the code simple and connect each tag to an output on my PLC. Now that I'm done I will download the program to the PLC. Now let's make the Kepware OPC server side of things. Inside Kepware we need to add a channel. To do so we click on the column that says click to add a channel. We can choose from many type of channels. If we scroll down we will find the Siemens TCP IP Ethernet which we want to use. We then click next until we get to the network tab. Here we want to choose our computer's network adapter. Then click OK and keep clicking Next. Now that we got our channel done we want to add our PLC to it. To do so we click on the column where it says click to add a device. Here we need to specify which model of PLC we use.
In this ID column we need to type in the IP address that we gave our PLC in the TIA portal project. Then we can just click next until our device is added. To add a new tag to our project we right click on the screen then click on new tag. Here we can give our tag a name. Then we need to give it the address that we gave our tags from the data block. I will do the same with all three tags I made in the data block. Now to test out the connection we can click on the quick client button. Then we click on the column with our channel and device name. Here we can find all our three tags. If the quality column says good on our tags then the connection to the PLC works. To trigger our tags we need to right click on one of them and then click on synchronous write. Then we write a value and click on apply. I will test all the tags to see that everything works. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.